Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video and this one want to talk to you about tensor art. This could be the best online AI image or AI art generator and there's a few reasons why I believe that. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it up front here, I'll tell you why I think that. Then we'll go down the rabbit hole a little bit and we'll create some content and uh, wrap it up. So let's just go with the first thing and if we scroll down the page a little bit here, yeah, you're going to see in post-production Future Me, uh, you're going to see some stuff is blurred out here. So let's just get the elephant in the room out of the way. This allows you to create NSFW content if you're so inclined. It doesn't have all of the censorship and the restrictions that so many AI art image generators think so have these days. So again, this could may or may not be your thing, but this one, you know what, they, they've kind of, I mean, if you, if you want me to be honest, I was using, you know, Adobe the other day and I was doing generative fill and I said attractive female at an airport or something like that and it said no to me. I broke their rules. I guess the word attractive is not acceptable. And you know what? That's just crazy. So website like this, if you want to go down that rabbit hole and you want to do some more risque stuff, they're not going to censor you. That said, it also does image generation for other things just fine too. So that's the first thing. The second thing, probably equally as important, it's free. So there's that. You get up to 100 credits per day every day free to create your own content. So what does that mean? It means you don't have to run a prompt once and then come back tomorrow and make some changes to it in case you didn't get it right. You got 100 kicks at the can per day and if you recruit some of your friends, you'll get even more. And when I say recruit friends, what I mean is they've got a online program where if your friends sign up, and again, it's completely free, so you're not exactly getting them to pay for anything, it's free. You can go ahead, they can go ahead, sign up, and you'll get even more above and beyond your 100 daily credits. Okay, the third thing I want to talk about are the models. And I'm not talking about all the attractive women, although it, or men or whatever. Uh, no, I'm talking about the different models that you can use in here. This is not a basic installation where you get Stable Diffusion 1.5 and 2.1 and a couple of dials that you can turn for modifications. No, this one has tons of models. Let's go through them a little bit here. I mean, just look at this. If I if I was to go through here, I got Minai, Minai, M, Finai, Hentai. Okay, I don't know that one. Magic Mix Realistic Version 6, Epic Realism, Stable Diffusion 1.5, XXMIR, what the heck, Realism Neutron, Real Tune Main, kind of like Chow Main, but not as good, I guess. I mean, Chill Out Mix. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Epic Realism is awesome, by the way. Um, maybe I won't say that one, but again, that's NSFW. It's there if it's your thing. Uh, Dream Girl, okay. Korean Doll or Korean Doll Light. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So you can go through them as you see fit. Use whichever ones appeal to you. There's lots here. Again, this is a, a lot of stuff to choose from. Now, the other thing I will mention is if you are a model creator, if you create your own models, maybe you've uploaded to another uh, website or something in the past, they also want you to get involved with them. If you upload your own content, they've got a pr uh, promotion going on where they'll give you free credits and a few other things. I'll touch base, I'll, I'll go over that at the end of it, but I want you to be aware of it. So for those of you that are um, a little bit more advanced. So there you go, that's just a quick overview. Also, if you see something you like, like for example, I like this one here, I could just click over on the top right and just click on run and it will run an example for me. So it gives me the exact prompt, the model, everything that was used to create it. And I can just go ahead and just click on generate and get something very, very similar. So keep that in mind for if you're really brand new and you see something and you like and you don't wanna you know, spend any credits kind of thing, that's one way to do it. All right, with all that said, let's go down the rabbit hole and create some content of our own. All right, to create content, you need to go up to the top right side here and click on workspace. Now, this uh, generator is geared towards new users and really advanced users. So if you're new to it, you can just sort of add in a few prompts and you'll get some incredible results. If you are really good with Stable Diffusion and other things like that, and you want to change things like the VAE and you know do some image-to-image -image stuff with some sam different sampling methods, not the samplers that you get at Denny's. I love sent Denny samplers, but I'm talking like different samplers. It's all in here, so let's get going. All right, so we've opened it up here on the left side here. You're gonna see basic 
model. And this is where we select what model we want to use. The last one I used was Epic Realism and I quite liked it. But when I clicked on that triangle, I can select all of these different models. And again, there's so many models to choose from. I don't know. Let's try this one here. I B I C B I N P. I can't believe it's not photography. Yeah, that's awesome. Clicked on select. Now we've just changed the model. Now let's check. Well, we can change the VAE, but again, I'm not going to mess around with this. This is more for advanced users. We'll cover that in the future. In terms of prompt, it's got a pre-built prompt already in there, but let's just say I want um, a bulldog reading a book. And again, I'm going extremely basic and I'll delete everything else out of here just because I just want to go with a very simple prompt. You can also have negative prompts. So if there are things that you don't want, like extra fingers, poorly drawn hands, poorly drawn face, mutation, whatever, you can add that in there again, a bit more advanced. Uh, the other thing I will mention is you can do image to image. So what that means is if you have a image that you want it to sort of look like and you want it to use, in consideration of the final output, you can drag and drop it right here. So if I was going to my finder, I could drag and drop uh, Margot Robbie. I've got her image on my computer for scientific reasons, honest to God, guys. Um, I would just drag and drop that into image to image, and uh, yeah, my bulldog would have some Margot Robbie Barbie features, which would be hilarious, I think. Anyways, let's just keep going. Um, settings, it defaults, I think, to landscape here, but if you want a different setting, for example, you can click on custom, and you can then increase it to 1024 by 1024. Uh, you can adjust these as you see fit. Um, also, if you're a social media guy, you may want a portrait or a square, depending on what you're going for. So keep that in the back of your head, as well as changing the sampling method and number of sampling steps. I like to keep my sampling steps at 40, but again, the more steps takes a little longer to render, but I find it gives you a bit better results. All that said, there are more advanced settings that you can go through here, but I'm not gonna go through them. We'll go through that at a future video. But look down here on the left side, the last thing you should note is you can do a count. So it defaults to one, so if you click generate, it will create one image. But if you switch this count to four and click generate, which I'm going to do now, I'm gonna click generate, you're gonna see that it will create four images and it will also take four of your credits. But as you get 100 credits per day free, Eh, not so bad. Worst case scenario, you run it 25 times. I promise you, you do something 25 times, you'll get one that really meets what you're looking for. So there you go. I'm going to run it. I'm going to come back when it's done and we'll wrap it all up. All right, welcome back. So here we ran it. We ran it. We got four examples and it looks like two or three of them are workable here. So the first one here, I like this one. I can already tell. I'm just going to click on it and bang, we got a bulldog reading a book that looks like a bulldog reading a book. I like it. What would I do? I would download it nice and simple so i just click right here and you'll see one of the options is download so i'm just going to go ahead and download it if i like this one here let's take a look at this one here's another example again if i don't like it i can always re uh, redo it this one is quite good but again you know stable diffusion has some issues with paws and hands so maybe there's a person underneath there reading the book to the dog i don't know um, but it came pretty close but not quite so Again, you can always just go ahead and rerun it or adjust your prompt. I put in a very basic prompt, but if you know what you're doing, you can type in there, no hands, uh, reading a book in a library, etc., etc., to give it better um, parameters. But there you go. That's the gist of this program. I've got some more advanced videos coming up. I also want to raise some attention to the fact that if you are a model creator and you want to get involved in their program, they've got their own thing going on here. Let me load it up for you, actually, while I got you they have a call for model creators to upload their own models on TensorArt and you get special bonuses. So if you are a model creator, I will leave a link to this in the description below. But yeah, you can basically either get paid to upload your models or you'll get free credits or some mix of them. Again, link is in the description below. So there you go, guys. Hit me up. Let me know what you think of this. I got a ton more videos coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.